Welcome to Pharma Drama, the channel where we look at the science of healthcare and healthcare products. In this short video, possibly the shortest video I've ever made, we're going to look at the quickest and easiest method of drying materials, tray drying. It's so simple, there's probably not even time for coffee, but I have one anyway, as you know what I'm like. So with that, let's make a start. There are many reasons why we need to dry materials during pharmaceutical manufacture, and I have discussed them in another video, which makes for an entertaining watch. The link is below. Hint. Principally, we dry materials to make them easier to handle and to keep them stable during storage. Consequently, there are a number of drying methods commonly used in the pharma industry. On a manufacturing scale, spray drying and fluidized bed drying are used to dry solution suspensions and wet solids respectively. This is because these drying methods can deal with large amounts of material and are very efficient in terms of time and cost. Spray drying can also operate continuously, which is a huge advantage for commercial production. And it's also scalable. By that, I mean it's possible to get small spray dryers and dry small volumes of solution, even a few milliliters. So if you want to dry solutions or suspensions, you can always use spray drying and possibly freeze drying if you want something fast dissolving. Fluidized bed drying, however, really only works for large masses of wet solid. And so it's not useful during pre-formulation development when there may only be small masses of material to dry. What drying method can we use in that case then? There are two options. One is microwave drying. Using microwave drying in a laboratory is exactly the same as using a microwave in your kitchen. The sample is put in the microwave oven and heated to evaporate water. The other is to use a tray dryer, which to continue the kitchen analogy is the same as a fan oven. The dryer is basically an oven containing metal trays. The sample to be dried is spread out on the trays and then they are placed in the oven. Then heated air is circulated over the trays. This causes water to evaporate from the sample into the air. Because the air is constantly being refreshed, the evaporated water is exhausted to the environment and the sample can be dried to any desired water content. To get even drying, it's best to ensure that a sample is spread thinly on the trays so that all the sample is exposed equally to the hot air. But otherwise, that's all there is to it. There are other videos where I discuss spray drying and fluidized bed drying, so please watch those if you're interested. Otherwise, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.